Is the golden age of CSGO investing already gone? Let us find out. So watch the whole video if you want to learn all of the things that suggest this is the case. And let's have a discussion about this. This video is brought to you by Skins Monkey, an automated CSGO trading site where you can get up to $5 for free by trading at least $10 worth of skins. Skins Monkey provides an instant way to get new skins. You can trade your skins for other ones of equivalent value or trade an expensive skin for multiple cheaper ones. Any excess value from the trade is saved into your balance and they also have a 35% deposit bonus on the money that you put into the site. That's 30% plus an extra 5% if you use the code Wilcock. Click the link in the description of the video to check out Skins Monkey and use code Wilcock and get an extra 5% on your deposit bonus. Thank you very much. Now let's get straight into the video. All right, so if you've been around in the CSGO investing space for a long time now, you probably know that even before the CS2 hype for a very long time, for multiple months, maybe even years, skins in the game and especially highly popular high tier expensive skins were going up steadily with the flow of time and the market was continuously getting more and more inflated and with the introduction of things such as the china version of the game which allowed chinese players to officially play the game and therefore buy skins and invest in them and get involved in the market themselves the skins market got bigger and bigger and right now the state of the market is extremely volatile and risky because it's at the most inflated point that it's ever been and it's entire existence this of course is because of the cs2 hype everybody starting to involve themselves in cisco investing hoping that they can capitalize off of the fact that we're awaiting many new players to join the game and all of the people who are investing at the moment expect the market to get bigger as time goes on but is this going to be the case or are we all falling for a trap this is what we're here to discuss so in these last few weeks we've seen crashes in the market which people were speculating were corrections and therefore they're not concerned Considering the current state of the market to be hyperinflated, but this might not be the case. People are looking for any and every excuse at the moment to keep investing in CSGO skins. So once they see one crash, one little crash in the market, they hop on the trend once again and start investing all over. So the crashes that we've seen in these last few weeks are actually pretty small if you look at the bigger picture over here. So the fact that they're so small might be a product of what I just described. People running to conclusions and trying to invest with every single opportunity and reason that they can find to do so. Now, if we actually look at the player count numbers for CSGO, we can tell that the player base is bigger than it's ever been. It's broken records recently. And if you've been on YouTube and searched up CS2 or CSGO lately, you can see that a lot of people who weren't into CSGO ever in the past have gotten into the game. And many of them did that right after CS2 was revealed. So how much of an increase in the player count will CS2 really bring? And will Will it keep growing steadily as time goes on or will it fall off and the hype disappear? There is also the argument here that Valve might change a lot of things that could drive people to start selling all of their investments. and. This is definitely true. Valve can change a lot of things that will impact the market in negative ways for us and ruin our investments. So this is why it's very important to never treat investments as 100% safe. And even the quote unquote safe investments like cases and capsules are not always safe. You don't always make money on those, even if the odds are in your favor on paper. So let me reach a conclusion right here. Should you rush to buy skins at the moment so that you can sell them once CS2 comes out and therefore expect the market price to go up once CS2 comes out or not. Well, I believe personally that the majority of the market at the moment is buying many items just to invest in them. And at the release of CS2, every single one of those investors is gonna be trying to sell their items. So instead of going up, the prices of those investment items will be going down as a result of everybody trying to sell them for profit. And in the end, they will end up selling them for a loss because they'll all be trying to sell these items to each other so that each one of them can profit, which is not possible. Somebody has to to lose money in this market for somebody else to make money this is how the game works it's pvp it's not one big family and everyone makes money from the air so i do think that the market is hyper inflated at the moment and i do think that it's going to be going down when cs2 comes out actually now that i've witnessed all of the things that i've seen you know market watching throughout these weeks and if you 100% want to invest right now and are looking for some investments that might actually keep climbing steadily as time goes on, I think your best bet will be an item that's high tier, expensive, popular with collectors and not so popular with investors. So 
Items that are popular with investors are popular with them because they are volatile. So they will be cheaper knives, but good looking ones, or capsules, cases, those kinds of things. Things like very rare, high tier, ultra expensive knives will be more popular with people who actually want to have them in the game to collect them or to do day trading with them. So if the market stays healthy and the player base grows steadily, for CS2 as it has done with CSGO all of this time, those items should be good and should be going up in price steadily. Those items will be knives, gloves, and some operation skins, which are discontinued and they're very rare and expensive. Anyways, I tried to make this video as short as possible so that I don't waste any of you guys' time. So anyways, thank you everyone for watching this video thus far. And if you want to be informed every single day about CSGO investing and everything that can make you money with this game, I do daily uploads and bring you everything that you need to know. So thank you for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.